And then it's in this context where we're going to start to look at our first case. Chris's job, as you read in the case, was um, to introduce a global uh, best practice SAP-based system in order to increase the performance of Nestle. The question is how difficult do you think his task is? What do you think makes it more or less difficult? What and who will be key to his success if you're responsible for the implementation and ensuring also commitment as the two aspects, both uh, implementation and commitment? Um, and how much urgency did Chris face? Was there sufficient urgency? How do you create urgency if there isn't sufficient urgency? And then he has his first meeting with his boss, uh, Mario Corti, and you know from the case that he has been suggesting individuals uh, to him. So what should your position be with regards to your first meeting? I'm going to take the perspective, why would a country manager want to do this and be a pilot? And who should Chris choose? And you're uh, implicitly answering that second question, uh, what, who should Chris choose as a pilot? Those two perspectives might not necessarily um, be be the same. So, so let's start first with why would a country want to be a pilot? Visibility, reputation building, all that could be a reason why you would want to be a pilot. Okay. Now taking the other perspective, if you're Chris, what kind of pilot so this is pilot, and now I'm going at pilot choice. If you're Chris, what kind of pilot do you want? I would go for a small where there's a lot of commitment. It's a small country, there's less risk, and it's more easy to implement, and you have more overview. What is the problem with something if it's too small? You cannot face all the challenges. That's only part of the issue. What's the second key issue? Others will say, it worked in Mauritius. <laughs> uh, sorry. <laughs> Rodrigo, I'm going to ask you to be Mario, sir, and you're going to be Chris. Stand up and have a conversation. Hi, Chris. Are you not satisfied with the people I chose for the team? <laughs> no, I think uh, even though you've chosen a lot of good ones, I feel I want people I know I can trust. I think that makes a lot of sense. What I really liked about Søren's approach here was he tried to do the, even the approach of the interviewing and bring him into, a, into, into his boat. But one question I would have is, where would you start the conversation? Would you start with the people or where would you start it? Um, I would just say to David, if he committed, uh, if he gave me a team, yeah. then my commitment would, would already fall. So it showed, okay, he doesn't trust me, and so on, so therefore... What are we trying to achieve with, these, uh, with this project? Uh, therefore, what capabilities do we need? And therefore, then, uh, can we jointly interview? Uh, so you can try to you know, backtrack two or three steps before, uh, before getting there. That's the way maybe you can... <laughs> you stand up. I, I, I put you on the line there uh, <laughs> uh, immediately. Um, let me show you what he actually did. 